Star Trek's three female Enterprise captains explained. In Star Trek, Picard, Captain Seven of Nine commands the USS Enterprise G, but she's not the first female captain of the Enterprise in Star Trek. In Star Trek history, three women have been the captains of starships named Enterprise on screen. Star Trek has dreamed of an egalitarian future since its inception, when series creator Gene Roddenberry included the enigmatic number one, Magil Barrett, as the Enterprise's female first officer in the Star Trek, the original series pilot The Cage. Since then, Star Trek has certainly had several notable female captains, including series leads Captain Catherine Jane Way, Kate Mulgrew on Star Trek, Voyager, Captain Michael Burnham, So Nequa Martin Green on Star Trek, Discovery, and Captain Carol Freeman on Star Trek, Lower Decks. The list of Enterprise captains, likewise, has grown beyond Captain James T. Kirk, William Shatner, and Captain Jean Luc Picard, Patrick Stewart, with Star Trek, Enterprise's Captain Jonathan Archer, Scott Bakula, and the revival of Captain Christopher Pike, Anson Mount, on Star Trek, Strange New Worlds. Strange New Worlds also saw the live-action debut of Admiral Robert April, Adrian Holmes, the Enterprise's first black captain. The intersection of female captains on Star Trek who were also Enterprise captains, however, remains small, with only three women holding the distinction so far. Trish O'Neill as Captain Rachel Garrett. Captain Rachel Garrett commanded the USS Enterprise C beginning in 2332 after serving as first officer of the USS Carthage. Garrett's Enterprise was presumed lost in 2344 while outmatched by Romulan forces, but appeared over 20 years into the future. In Star Trek, A Next Generation Season 3, Episode 15 Yesterday's Enterprise. The Enterprise C's presence in 2366 unintentionally created a dark and foreboding alternate timeline characterized by Starfleet's ongoing war with the Klingon Empire. Though reluctant, Garrett agreed to return the Enterprise C to its fateful Romulan battle to restore the timeline. Captain Rachel Garrett's sacrifice exemplified Starfleet bravery and ensured the Federation's peaceful future. Star Trek, A Next Generation Season 3, Episode 26 The Best of Both Worlds introduced Elizabeth Shelby as an eager Lieutenant Commander getting for Commander William Rikers, Jonathan Frake's position as the Enterprise's first officer, brought aboard for her expertise with the Borg. While she didn't get Riker's job, Shelby's steely ambition and forthright confidence helped her rise through Starfleet's ranks. Elizabeth Shelby's brief Star Trek Lower Decks cameo indicates Shelby became a captain before 2381.